Howdy folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Super Truffle Pigs. This is a bicycle game, or from Games by Bicycle. Bicycle is best known for making decks of cards, but uh, they also make some board games. And in fact, some of their games that they came out a few years ago, I really liked, especially their Alpha Wolf style game. Now, their games are kind of meant for simplicity, easy to play. This is a two to four player game that takes 45 minutes. Let's take a look, and we'll be right back. So you build a random grid here of four by five tiles. You can play on the winter side if you want to. Um, and then you're gonna put these little truffles down here of the three different colors. Each player has a card that shows you what the possibility of the truffles are. The white ones, 50% chance of victory point, 70% chance of one to two, 100% chance of two to three. So players are gonna start in these spots with one of their two pigs in each spot. There will be one wolf on the board, a brown wolf facing north. The next wolves are ready to come in. So each turn of the game, uh, one person's gonna roll, the starting player is gonna roll the wolf die. And this is gonna show how many direction cards each player is gonna play. If a new wolf is played, then the next color, so in this case a gray wolf will come out facing north in the gray wolf den. Now, after that's been done, each player in turn order is gonna spend actions. At the beginning of the game, each player has three actions. And you'll have a token here to show that. This is kind of a shiny board here. You can move up and get four or five actions, but you'll have to pay truffles to do so. When you take actions, what can you do? Well, you can move. So I can move from one spot to an adjacent spot. You can dig. When you dig, if it's a white truffle, you'll just simply take it off the board, wherever one of your pigs is. A yellow truffle takes two dig actions, so I would put the pig on top of it to show the first one, uh, which it doesn't stay on there very well, and then take it off for the second action. The, the black ones take three action. One, then two. You put it on its nose like that, then three, take it off the board. So if I had three actions, I might go one, two, three. And I'm starting to dig for that truffle, but I'll get it next turn. It will take two more actions. When you get a truffle, you can secretly see how many victory points it gives you and keep it on your board. The other thing you do is use superpowers. Up above the board are some superpower cards. This one here lets you strike any tile and knock out any wolves for one action. Here I can knock off any wolves that are one space away. But there's all kinds of special abilities that you can do and there'll be different ones drawn at the end of each round. Shoot a laser, knocking wolves out. Dash through, warp between sides of the forest. Use wolf dens as secret paths. Move two spaces diagonally in any direction. That costs two actions. Each player will also, on their turn, be playing a direction card onto the board. And the number of cards that you play is again determined at the beginning of the rounds. So you're gonna be playing one or two unless you roll the z and no wolves move. At the end of the round, you'll turn over these cards on the brown and or gray, and it's gonna show you the direction that the wolf is gonna move in. This one would move west, but wolves do warp around the board. If a wolf ever moves into where a pig is, that pig is scared and off the board. If both your pigs are scared and off the board, you are done with the game. That being said, you could stay in the game, but you would have to give two truffles to another player and then one of your pigs can come back in. That's it. These cards will go back to players when the entire brown or gray part is filled up. So you'll get these back. So each player can play north, south, east, or west, or move to in the direction you're already facing. And you keep going till either there's three or less truffles in the forest total, or until, well, there's only one person left in the forest because the other pigs have been scared away. That's it. As you can see with the components, everything is very, very shiny. My copy I have has these pretty hefty gold pigs, which I think just replaced the yellow ones. And there's also this nice starting coin here. The card quality is pretty good. Everything is pretty nice looking. Um, and like I said, you can flip all the tiles over and now you have ice and you can, when you move into ice, you just slide right through it like that. 
I really wanted to like this game, but at the end of the day, this one just doesn't really cut the mustard. Um, the problem is the components are great. These are great wolf pieces, great pigs, great truffles. But the problem that I have with all this is the game feels too small. You're running around and you're collecting these different truffles. And there's some truffles, by the way, that are super truffle, but they let you use a super power for free. Who cares? So you're running around and you're grabbing truffles. You want to grab expensive truffles. You have these little mission cards that you're trying to do. If you accomplish these mission cards, you get more points. Collect one of each color. Collect three black truffles. Collect eight of any color. Some of them are much easier to do. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to how difficult they are, which is really weird. But if you accomplish these missions, great. So you go around to that. You're grabbing truffles. You grab truffles that are worth no points. You can then spend those truffles to upgrade to four actions, which makes sense. It doesn't make sense to upgrade to five unless somehow you've gotten four tokens that are worth no points. And if you've done that, by the time you got four tokens that are worth no points, you've either had incredibly bad luck, so they're giving you five actions because of that, but by that point, other people have already grabbed a bunch of tokens anyway, so that fifth action doesn't really matter. It's such a weird mechanism, the idea of trading in truffles. I mean, you would have to get a bunch that were worth no points. Otherwise, you're turning in points for an extra action, which in this game, there's too few points as it is. And then the wolves. You don't know what direction the wolves are. You just know other players are playing cards in them. So you can watch these directions, and the wolves just kind of move around randomly. It's not really random. Like, I just always make the wolf go away from me. But I don't know, first of all, the wolves are constantly moving every turn, and you can't move as fast as they are, especially if you're sitting on a black truffle trying to snort that thing down. But the wolves are going to be moving, and someone might play move, turn west, and then move two, and you're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. And neither were those people. So the wolves feel like they move randomly. The truffles are super random to get. The whole board feels claustrophobic and small. The super abilities, which knock wolves out occasionally, but often don't, don't feel very super. And the whole thing just feels like an exercise in futility. The fact that this game has player elimination and the way to get out of player elimination, both your pigs die or they're scared, is to give two of your points to someone else? What? I was just unimpressed with this. It, it felt so fun. It felt like the game should be fun. It felt like the game might be fun if it was double the size, if one player was the Wolves. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here because I'm not trying to fix this game. I'm just saying that it felt like there was something missing. The simple concept of moving around, picking up truffles and chasing each other with the Wolves, I like that in concept. But in actuality, it just meant that there was just too much stuff running around. There were too many Wolves just, oh, this one got you, or it doesn't matter where you go, a Wolf gets you, or um, I spent this time to get this truffle and it was two points and you grabbed a couple and they were worth the same amount because of sheer luck. There's just not, a, it, this is a game that pretends to have strategy, but really doesn't. I don't mind that it's simple. I just think there needs to be a little bit more in this game. So unfortunately, I give this one a five out of 10. That's Super Truffle Pigs. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time.